be a good sportsman and, and do things right, right? I love it. And you know, this is a season of giving, so I'm so yes. excited to be hearing more of these awesome things happening in our community. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, it is getting a lot closer to Thanksgiving, so we are definitely going to start to feel the chill in the air, if you will. And so we are slowly going to begin to dip into those 60s very soon. Right now, we're at 58 degrees at the airport. Southwesterly winds at about 8 miles an hour. 79 degrees was our official high for today, so it was a rather warm afternoon. 77 in Las Cruces, and we matched that today in Juarez. Here's how we compare. On average, El Paso should be hovering closer to 67 degrees. We managed to top out at 79, so we were definitely above average and just three degrees shy from that record set in 1981. This morning, we started off at 46 degrees. 42 is normal. And so tonight, going into tomorrow morning, because we're still dealing with a little bit of this breeze, uh, we were rather warm. So those are a little bit of factors that are going to really slow down that cooling process overnight. So we are forecasting 45 degrees. This is tonight into tomorrow morning, 39 in Las Cruces, 44 in Juarez. And so that cold front I've been telling you about all week long, Long, even in the weekend, we are looking at it slowly arriving right on time. So the first one, believe it or not, already moved through. This is why we had those breezy conditions this morning. The second one is going to come in Wednesday night, going into Thursday morning. That's why we're going to be seeing those breezy conditions Wednesday evening, going into Thursday morning. Winds will subside and temperatures will begin to drop. But before they do, check this out. 75 degrees, your forecast high tomorrow. Like I said, those stronger winds coming in in the evening hours. Throughout the day, though, we'll be looking at 10 to 15 miles per hour. In the evening hours, we are talking about 25 miles per hour, so not too bad. 72 degrees, your forecast high tomorrow, a little chillier in Las Cruces. And then soon after, we're going to see this nice cooler air diving down, and it's going to stay with us for the rest of the work week, slowly beginning to warm for the weekend. But we already have a little sneak peek into Thanksgiving. So here's what it looks like. Thursday, not this one, next Thursday, 65 degrees, your forecast high with an overnight low of 43 degrees, so it is going to be a chilly day. If you're making it out to the Thanksgiving Day Parade, make sure you're bundling up. So we're looking at 61 degrees this Thursday, so we are going from 75 Wednesday, dropping to 61 Thursday, thanks to that cool front. We'll slowly warm back into the 70s this weekend, then next week another cold front moves in. We'll drop to 69 degrees. As of now, it does look like we could potentially see a cold front Wednesday going into Thursday, just in time for Thanksgiving Day. The details of it are a little murky as of now, but just wait. For this weekend, we should have a clear idea of what we can expect for Thanksgiving Day. So, of course, you definitely want to stay with us for your full forecast throughout the entire week. Here's a big shout out to our ever loyal weather watcher, Pam Miller. Thank you so much for allowing us to see the beautiful Las Cruces foliage. I love the colors. And if you would like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email news at ktsm.com don't go anywhere we'll be right back